Hello, David Paul here again. Um, a continuation of chopping this tree down. Oh my God, this come down, came down really quick. So that um, anybody looking at me, they might think, "Oh, this guy's chopping so many trees down. Such a destructive purpose person." But that's what we grow them for. And also, these mahogany trees are non-native to the Philippines. They're actually killing this little woodland. So. This brings new life into the place, although I'm sure they will grow more mahogany and the dumb things are all over the place. They're a pest, they really are a pest tree, but uh, the wood is not a pest, the wood is wonderful. So, look at that wood, deep pattern running through it, look at that face, that's going to be on the inside of my cabin in the corners, and that's going to look beautiful. So, next what they're doing is they're preparing to... <coughs> Uh, preparing to turn the log. Now, I know you're all going to say like, oh my God, those kids, you know, child labour. They're not, they're just these kids, you know, they just want to be there with their dad, you know. It's a dad thing, you know. Um, men on wedges, are you like, oh. Men on wedges, are you like, oh. Men wedges, Done. <coughs> wedges. Okay, lang. Okay, lang. Marami paman ang wedges sa ilalim. <coughs> so, <sighs> you get the bug for this. It's kind of like gold fever, you know. You spend all your life not wanting to do things with wood, and then all of a sudden, there's wood available. My God. And it's... Um, do not, do not more don't pass our wedges, wedges, kahui, wedge. So the, uh, ah, they've got a tick here. So they just need it to not roll, you know. Um, so this is it. This is all family. These all, these folks are all family or sort of connected family. There's not one of, the, there's not one person on this island that's not family <laughs> which is very nice because like we just sort of i don't know we just have a dog in the fight if you know what i mean we care about each other so we look after the family which is basically the whole itali good <laughs> it's so funny so the what we're trying to do now is that's got to be split down the middle so these will become the corner posts of the house and they are too heavy for me to work with, well, too heavy for me to work, move around. So what I need to do, I need to get them to the house, which is going to be more work and more expense, but I'm going to find out what that's going to cost me. And on top of that, over there, we have a really, I was asking Alan about a really tall tree, that one up there, which is now, I have, think I've made a policy decision that's coming down. And it's going to be uh, utilised for roof beams. It's damned hard finding straight bits of timber. I need I need a straight run of timber, just this once, which runs about thirty feet. Thirty feet, my God, you know. Uh, thirty feet, or no, thirty feet. 30 feet it is, I'm stuck with that. So that one looks like it's got potential. We will find out. I can hear a, a, a digging machine there drilling away there. And up the top of Scotland here, which is only a couple of hundred meters away from where we're standing, I was thinking we could put a swimming pool in there because it's like a natural feature in the land, it dips in. And it'd be a good place to plant it, to put it rather. So, um, but I thought, well, you're going to have to get guys digging this out by hand and it's going to just cost a million dollars, like, you know. But there's that machine there digging away there. And uh, so maybe I can do that as a future project. Um, my ideas on swimming pools, I would never build a, a rectangular one. The, the side pressures are huge. The best thing to do is just put it all into tension, uh, by which I mean build a circular pool so coming up on this channel nothing more to say at the minute they're going to kick off and they're going to start cutting this log 
And uh, Jesus be with you.